In a previous video, I introduced you to double subscript notation. In this video, we'll take that concept just a little bit further and get a little more experience with it. Here I've placed two batteries and I've connected them. So uh, there's a 24 volt battery and a 16 volt battery. Let's sketch a circuit schematic and let us uh, think about this a little bit more. So here I'll sketch two voltage sources. And we can identify three nodes. Let's label them A, B, and C. And let us consider the voltages of each. We'll sketch a voltage axis. And as I explained in a previous video, there is no voltage at point A that's itself defined. Every voltage is defined by two points. So for example, we could call this the voltage at point A but we can't assign a number to it that's an intrinsic property of A. We can assign relative values. So what we know from this circuit diagram is that node A, because of the battery, the voltage source, is 24 volts higher than node B. So we'll put here B, and we'll say that this difference is 24 volts. And then we know that uh, C is 16 volts lower than B, so we'll plot C here. And we'll make a few notes about this. We can say that uh, VAC, I'm sorry, let's go with VAB. We're asking the question, how much higher is A than B? Because in this notation, A is the observation point and B is the reference point. So recognizing this, we'll say, okay, we know that VAB is 24 volts. A consequence of that is we would write VBA is negative 24 volts, right? Because if we take A as the reference and then put our observation probe on B, then we get negative 20 volt, 24 volts. So let's actually illustrate that right now. So in the circuit, if I move this, uh, this is B here, and then I put this on A, and you're going to see the 24 volts. Now I take Let's move the reference to A, and placing the observation probe on B, I get negative 24 volts. Just moving this up and down here. And as you can see here, this, that's exactly what we wrote down. Similarly, we can write VBC is 16 volts, and VCB is negative 16 volts. Now, looking at this diagram, it would be straightforward then to say that VAC, right? Just looking at it, you add up the 24. So we're asking ourselves in VAC, how much higher is A than C? Uh, looking at the diagram, it's clearly 40 volts. And so we'll, we'll just say by inspection. But there's another way we could do it also. You, you could recognize that VAC is VAB plus VBC, right? So more mathematically, it's VAB and V. BC added together. And similarly, we could just then write VCA is a negative 40 because of the work we did above. And so let's just double check that. We can go back here and let's double check. Here's VBC, which we wrote as 16. And then VCB, negative 16. And then VCA. VCA means that A is the reference and C is the observation point. So it's a negative 40, just like we wrote over there. And then a VAC, 40 volts. The next step here is to think about what happens when we turn one of these batteries around. That is to say, we reverse its polarization. So let's do that. Okay, coming back to a new circuit diagram, we'll sketch it like this. And again, if I number this, this A, B, and C, or I label them A, B, and C, we'll write in here that this upper one is the 24 volt battery, and this is the 16 volt battery. Now, if we make a plot, sketch, if we were to put A on here, and then we look at our diagram, well, this battery, 
creates the situation that B is 16 volts higher than A. So we'll put here A, and then we'll put up here uh, B, and we recognize that this is, let's write that as 24 volts. Okay, B is higher than A by 24 volts, and then B is also higher than C by 16 volts. So we'll put in here 16 volts and label this C. Now, let's write some things down. So uh, V, B, A is 24 volts. So that's B reference to A or B relative to A, 24 volts. Then if we take A as the reference and B as the observation point, we have this. Then we take B as reference and C as the observation point, so VCB. And looking at the battery, VC uh, is like C is 16 volts lower than B, so we'll put negative 16 volts. And then VBC is 16 volts. Now, if we ask ourselves, well, what is VCA? Well, looking at this diagram, we can then tell that it's 8 volts, right? Because that's the difference between the 24 and the 16. So we'll put 8 volts by inspection. And we would then recognize that VAC, why well, that's negative 8 volts. Another thing you could do sort of by inspection is recognize that VCA is VBA minus VBC. And so let's just double check our work here. Coming back here, we have, uh, let's measure VBA. So B reference to A, this is VBA, 24 volts, VAB, negative 24 volts, VCB. So here's B and then C reference to that, negative 16, just like we wrote, and then VCA, so that means I move the black probe to A, VCA is 8 volts, VAC, we can swap these around, negative 8 volts. I hope we're helping you build your intuition for these concepts. Unless you have a circuits lab, these things can get pretty confusing, but in this video, what I want you to take away is this work that we've been doing to further our understanding of voltage, right? Voltage is always defined for two points. It's not an intrinsic property of a single point in a circuit. A voltage is always a difference, and the sign of voltage simply depends on the direction you're measuring the voltage or the direction of which your voltage is defined.